Yo guys, cheers for all the love and support I got on my Three Peaks video guys. I was reading through the comment section the other day and it was overwhelming until I read this comment and got massively offended. What the f***? They're all footpaths, these Three Peaks are for Joe Blogs who think they are mountaineers. Footnote, there are harder routes at Ben Nevis for real adventure. Why would I take a harder route if I'm trying to do it as fast as I can? Never mind. But this has given me a great idea. I'm going to do it again, guys. So that brings me back to Snowdonia, guys, where I'm going to be giving you guys my best Joe Bloggs impression by hiking the Welsh Three Peaks. Hey the guys, Welsh so Three I'm Peaks is hiking the highest peaks, mountain in right? North Wales, like Mid Wales practice. and South Wales Look, in under 20... Oh, for f***ing sake, man! It's a fair take! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god, are you... Are you on so crazy? Oh, yeah, I am! I'm so oh, glad! Thanks for watching! You've got water from yeah. YouTube! Yeah. I am a massive fan. I've got no your merch way. and everything. Hell yeah. Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> look, 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 look. What? No way. What are the odds of that? What a coincidence. <laughs> 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 Guys, this is Ali Waterman. We decided to team up and collab for this episode. Ali does YouTube as well, guys. So my channel is like basically just following my life. I do vlogs of like everything, but my life's pretty cool. I'm an indoor skydive instructor like Craig. I tap into that and then like a bit of mental health, but kind of just like fun that I do that I'll film and then put on YouTube yeah, so man. if you fancy watching that check it out check go out and check channel. it out her channel's cool man it's a lot different to mine like whereas mine's more like travel informative and all that sort of stuff her channel's like vlogging so it's more like in depth and just life and stuff like that guys so if that's what you're into head on over to her channel help her out give her a subscription so guys we are hiking the Welsh Three Peaks in this video the Welsh Three Peaks is the highest mountain in North Wales Mid Wales and South Wales and you have to do it in according to the Welsh Three Peaks website 24 hours which I personally think is f ridiculous too long too long too long. way too long isn't it? do it twice in that time <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah well you don't know how long it took us but you never know you could do it twice <laughs> it's 24 hours for the national three peaks right and there's like nine hours of driving at least in that mm -hmm. it's 24 hours for the Welsh three peaks and it's what how long did we drive Four, max four hours wasn't it so we decided to do the Welsh Street Peaks guys we're gonna try and do it in under 10 hours all right but before we get into that check out this place we found in Snowdonia National Park it's absolutely sick guys check it out and let's get into the Welsh Peaks Water is freezing guys, so I can think of no better way of getting in than this.
So this place is called Watkin Path, guys. It's actually it's on, it's on one of the routes going up Snowdon, but I've read that it's one of the hardest routes. It takes about six hours to get up. It's long and it's quite treacherous, apparently. Longest. Uh -huh. Longest. Longest and hardest. And hardest. Yeah, that's what I've read. Really? Longest and hardest route. Up the, up the mountain, yeah. Um, but these waterfalls are only about half an hour into the hike right near the road guys and it's not really that steep so if you wanted to just come to the waterfalls and not hike up Snowdon oh. find look in the video description I have left the location where you can park your car the coordinates for it it's near Cathy Gwynand you can park your car there walk from there it takes about half an hour and it's just a series of pools and it's lush guys honestly it's incredible you would not believe that you're in Wales I can't believe it's <laughs> I can't believe we're in Wales. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh, it's so nice, but it's so cold. Looks pretty sick, though. Look at that. This part we're in now, guys, is like an infinity pool in nature. It's incredible. <laughs> It's what, half past six, quarter to seven? We're hoping to start at eight o'clock. Snowdon is somewhere over there in the clouds. Look at this view. That's what we woke up to this morning. Slept in there. Woke up to that. Bloody love North Wales. Love Snowdonia, it's lush. So the plan for the morning is eat breakfast, right? So oats, that's what I'm having, oats and honey. Take on those of water. Tape my feet up with zinc oxide tape. I have got some, hopefully some good zinc oxide tape. I will link it in the description. I'll let you know how it is at the end of this video because I did go on about how important zinc oxide tape is in my, in my last video. So I've hopefully got some good stuff this time. I'm not preparing as hard as I did for the last one because I'm not going to be hiking through the night, driving through the night. A little bit less preparation than with the last three peaks. I love Wales. Breakfast just delivers itself. Come here, buddy. Breakfast and morning shag. Let's go. So for breakfast, I'm having protein shake. I'll drink half of it, fill up with oats, add some honey. That's my breakfast. A nice and light breakfast. So I've got brand new shoes. Never been worn. Brand new hiking boots. Same as my last ones, but brand new. Schoolboy era there. Very foolish of me. So I'm going to be breaking them in on the Welsh Street Peaks. thing is I only have one of these flasks so I have to do this again for early now in a second. Right, take my feet up with zinc oxide tape. I've got the main culprit areas, big toe, little toe. Size of my feet don't really matter too much but the ankles. Sometimes the heels if I'm doing long distance I probably won't get that today. If you are taping your feet up though guys don't wrap all the way around. Do half and half because otherwise it would just restrict your ankle. Any new recruit in the army will tell you that. Learn that the hard way. All right. We're just at the car. Lovely weather for it, innit? Gorgeous weather. We wanted to start 8 o'clock in the morning. It's 8.28, so we're going to start at half past on the dot. And they'll hopefully be done by half six to this evening then. Obviously snow done, we want to beat my last time, which was three hours and eight minutes, if I remember right. Or an hour and 47 to the top. We I think got this, we got this. I was literally about to say that. I think we got this. There it is. Come on. Longer, so long, oh, so long. There you go, 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 go. Boom, let's go. Go, 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 go. Let's go, let's go, go, go. And it begins go, go, for the go. second time. We're almost at the climbing part. <laughs> How are you doing, Ellie? Good. Good? We're like half an hour in, right? Like, a bit more. Yeah, we're like half an hour in, and Snowden is up there. But the shoulder and the climbing part is not far. We're doing really good for time, guys. We pretty much ran the most of the flat part. It's been trucking it, though. My t-shirt. My gloves are soaked, so not that you can tell what they are. They're <clears throat> dripping, look. Dripping. Right. No better weather to go mountaineering in, is it? Yeah. 
such a nice view, isn't it? She goes, it's fucking gorgeous. She didn't know I was filming her ass. And he's vlogging and she's vlogging from she's doing a dual <laughs> vlog. Now that's a professional if I've ever seen one. Right? Professional, look, I could throw this in the lake. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's that got to do with being professional? So, finished snow done. How are you feeling, Ellie, after snow done? Good. Good? Feeling good. I'm feeling good. Proud. <laughs> we did it in two, hour, two and a half hours, pretty much. Yeah, we basically did it in two and a half hours. Two hours, awesome. two hours, 36 minutes up and down snow done. To the summit of snow done, we did it in an <laughs> hour and a half on the dot. On the dot. Oh. That was good. And then what? An hour and six minutes down. So, two hours, 36 minutes. Beating my last record of three hours and eight minutes. Woo -woo. That, I did, that I did on the three peaks. So, I'll happy be you next time now. Uh, it just gets harder and harder from now, you got to do it in under yeah. 2 hours and 36 minutes next time. Yeah. I slipped twice, but it's fine, I got straight back up. But we pretty much jogged the whole way down Snowdon. We did, and like, to be fair, for doing the whole way down Snowdon, only slipping properly twice. Yeah. Not bad. It was so wet, guys, in case you couldn't tell by how wet my t-shirt was. So when we got back to the car, we had to dry off and change all our clothes and everything, so I factored in 15 minutes for that admin and we used pretty much the full 15 and now we're on our way to the next mountain i can't remember the name of it by the way guys i'm aware that the name of snow has changed now or at least it's just been called by its welsh name which is uh er Withfa, i believe but for the sake of this video i'm just going to keep calling it snowden just to avoid confusion when i did the three peaks last time i stated that it was better to take the minus track up and the pyg track down because the pyg track is steep so you want to use the hill to your advantage on the way down and you don't want to be hiking up that it's just going to make you tired and slow you down i still stand by that but what we did this time we figured it's better to do the minus track up and the minus track down because the minus track the first mile and a half or two miles of it is all flat so you can run that so the minus track is a mile and a half longer but i think because of the running if you run the flat part you will make also up the time with the rain this time it was slippery so yeah pyg track would have slowed you down more minus track up and down is obviously proven to be fast because I smashed my old time, didn't I? So happy days. One down, two to go. Um, that was the tallest one, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah. That is the tallest one in Wales. The biggest one out of the way. Two more to go. All right, we made it. The car park you want is that one, guys. It's called Doll Idris. And we're just leaving the car park now. Time is 12.45. All right, let's see how long it takes. See you up there.
f***ed up, guys. I genuinely feel like we f***ed up. Because earlier on the road did split, the footpath did split, and we decided to go left. I feel like now we should have gone right. Oh well, we'll have a little explore. We don't know what the time is, we're not going to check the time. So we are at the start of Penny Van guys, that little red phone box there, that indicates the start of it, there's the path there. This is my local mountain, I've climbed this many times, it's like I live just down the road, so this shouldn't be a problem, I've got up to the top of Penny Van before in about 40 minutes or 45 minutes. That's not going to happen today because my knees are in clip and so is Ellie's from that last mountain. We failed the 10 hours. We got an hour and a half to the 12 hour point, so we're gonna try and do it in 12 hours. I think an hour and a half is doable with Penny Van, but like I said, our knees are in clips, so like that last minute it was just steps. Going up was tough, obviously, because of steps. It was going down was the problem on our knees. But um, anyway, wish us luck. We've literally got almost exactly an hour and a half. How do you feel about it, Ellie? That's it, that's how she feels about it. Just a little bit. 1905. Let's do it! Last one! Last one, baby! Last one! My left boot is falling off. We're getting so close. So close. So that's it guys, we finished the Welsh Three Peaks. How are you feeling, Eddie? Accomplished. I feel good. Coming down Penny Fan was actually really fun. My knees didn't hurt too much, which is good. I struggled on Penny Van. So that's the Welsh Three Peaks. We, we did it in a finished time of 12 hours and 2 minutes, <laughs> which is a shame. Shame oh, we didn't get the tough. Shame. Yeah. We were close. We were close. So close. close. It was tougher than what I thought it'd be. Snow done was, I reckon, probably the easiest one, but we were fresh yeah. as well, we, so... I still kind of felt like the easiest, though. I don't know. I feel like the second mountain was so hard because it was literally hailing. Yeah. For a lot of it. Yeah, that, that mountain sucked. I'd never want to hike that mountain again. No, that mountain, as I said when I walked down it, the good thing about that mountain is I'll never have to hike it again. <laughs> it was tough, guys. The, the Wild Street Peaks, I thought it would be a lot easier than it was. I didn't think it would be easy by any means, but I thought it would be a lot easier than it actually was. It was tough, um, very optimistic when we said at the beginning we'd try and do it in 10 hours. But yeah, that's it guys, that's the Wild Street Peaks. Now we've just got to look forward to cheesy chips. Oh yeah! Ah! Right guys, anyone from Caldecott watching this, right, you know how good the cheesy chips from Chicklelander are. I've been telling Ellie about it 
all day. I hyped like, them up and I expect big things. Yeah. I really, really expect big things. Yeah, 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 100%. I've been hyping them right up because they're so good, they're so cheesy. Shout out to Chickoland if you're watching. Sponsor me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're going to do. Going back to Caldecar, going to get some cheesy chips and then uh, chill. Chill out. Chill and chill. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Check out Ellie's channel, guys. Ellie's video on this is going to have more of an insight on what we got up to. More like a vlog style of like the surrounding days as well. Exactly. Yeah, completely different style to mine, guys. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks, guys. Peace. All right, guys. I guess it's fair to say we failed that. Ten hours was being way too optimistic. It's a shame we never did it in twelve hours, but we were right there. But can it be done in ten hours? I'd say so. Yeah, but. Not by any regular Joe blogs like us. I think it's fair to say there's only one true mountaineer who can do this. Where you at, mate? Show us how it's done. Thanks for watching, guys. Show us your tits. Get your tits out from so Craigie. <laughs> yeah, boy.